So we've talked about how to add menu items for individual articles. The next menu I want to show you is the category blog. Go ahead back into your menu manager and click on add new menu. And let's call this Joomlaville Attractions. And for the menu type, we'll just call it Attractions. You can put a description in if you want. Click Save and Close. Now remember, we're making a new menu here that contains menu items. Go ahead and click on the little zero here. And that takes us into the menu items for Joomlaville Attractions and click New. And we're just going to call this Attractions. Click on Select. And instead of clicking on a single article type, go ahead and click on Articles. You want to click on Category Blog. Now, a category blog is a kind of layout that takes all the articles from a particular category and its subcategories, if we choose, and displays them in a layout of our design. Change Choose a Category to Attractions. And for now, simply just click Save and Close. We'll come back to that in just a moment. Well, you remember from the cache workflow, the show step is add a new menu, or if you already have the menu, add the new item, and then show it using a module. Because this is a new menu, we need a new module. Head over to Extensions, Modules, and click New. Once again, choosing a menu, and let's just call this Joomlaville Attractions. Select the menu, Joomlaville Attractions, and once again, choose the right middle or position 8. Now, I know it's going to show up in the left-hand side, but that's okay. And click Save and Close. Head over to your home page and hit Refresh. And now you'll see Joomlaville Attractions. This time, however, when I click on it, it's not each individual article. It's a blog layout of all of the articles in the attractions category, with one published in its entirety at the top, and two more side by side, or in two columns. Again, this is what's called the intro text. Now We haven't actually added read more yet. We're going to do that in just a moment. But this is a blog layout, and it's really powerful. If I come back over to my administration screen and go back to the Joomlaville Attractions menu, go ahead and do that, Menus, Joomlaville Attractions, and click on Attractions, I have the ability here to do a lot of things with this blog layout. If I click on Category, I can override all of the global settings that I've already done. We'll do that in just a moment. But click on Blog Layout. This is the one I want to look at. By default, Joomla shows one leading article, four intro articles in two columns, with four links at the bottom. And we can override this right here. Let's go ahead and put one leading article, four intro articles, but let's change it into one column. We can change this back really easily later on. Go ahead and click Save. Head over to your public side of your site and click on that link again. And now you'll notice it's in one column. It's that easy to change the layout of your blog menu. Now you'll notice it's still one leading and four intros. Let's see how that works. Click Save and Close. Head back over to your Article Manager, please. Click Content, Articles. Open up the Aquarium article. And after the second paragraph, just go ahead and put your cursor just before Please don't feed the fish. And click the Read More link. It's going to put a red dotted line in here. If we look at the code just quickly, you'll notice that it's a HRID equals System Read More. Click OK. And click Save and Close. And do the same in the zoo, please. Click on Zoo. And put a Read More in before the second last paragraph. And click Save and Close. What that does is it breaks up your really long articles into a much nicer layout. If I hit Refresh now, I have these Read More links. 
and that helps people see that there's actually more to the article. When I click on the Read More, it takes me into the full article, and my breadcrumbs reflect I'm at the Home, Attractions, Aquarium article. Don't worry that the breadcrumbs are showing up at the bottom of the screen. We'll fix that in just a bit. So that's a blog layout for a category of articles. And this is the menu item I use more often than not, especially for a news or a business type site, but of course including a blog. All right, in the next video, we'll look at one more menu type.